Rural children in Ghana may attend schools without electricity, drinking water, toilet facilities, suitable buildings and in most cases inadequate teaching and learning materials. While successive governments have made efforts to redress these conditions including introducing policies aimed at addressing the needs of these poorest schools, a great deal remains to be done especially with the issue of inadequate classroom structures. Here in Aditri, a farming community in the Tichiman North district of the Bruno East region, these abandoned structures initiated in the year 2016 are left to the mercy of the weather as these pupils and their teachers continue to study under these dilapidated structures. Asari Evans is the chairman of the school's management committee. Since 2016, they started building this house. So during the, during the 2020 election, they were up to this level. Since then, we haven't seen anybody around here. So this building is causing us many challenges. Asari Evans says the situation is heavily affecting teaching and learning as children at the lower primary level are congested in their classrooms. The infrastructure we have here is less. Due to that, we are facing many challenges. Our little kids are many in the class. So we want government to complete this project for us so that they can be spaced up for them to learn. Amongst the school's most pressing challenges is the fact that the school's feeding program, which used to be a motivating factor keeping most of these pupils in school, is no more in place. As a result, a significant percentage of these pupils are staying away from attending school, thereby affecting enrollment. <laughs> It will be in difficult times and our cashew farms didn't yield as expected. So we are all going through lots of hardships. Antibi is also a member of the school's management committee. She says the absence of the school feeding program is compelling poor parents to send their children to their farms as they are unable to provide them with feeding fees. Members of the community want government to swiftly respond to their calls by helping complete this abandoned structure, which, when completed, would also provide accommodation for teachers. Openi Ousu Martin, also known as Guy School, is also an opinion leader here. Several projects, but has refused to complete inherited projects. He might have done it elsewhere, but not here. I can say all the structures here were put up by the NDC. So we are appealing to him to help complete this permanent structure so we can credit him for that. The lack of furniture in the school is also a hindering academic activities here with both teachers and pupils struggling to find tables and chairs to sit on. Asar Evans is appealing for help to rectify this. The time I was in this school, we have some carpentry tables. That time we were doing technical. So JJ time, JJ Rollins time, they brought those uh, tables and chairs. We use for practicals. Now because we are facing challenges and we don't have tables and chairs in this school for our teachers to sit on this and mark our registers and our exercise group, they are using those carpentry tables. And that one too is old enough. 
It can help the tutors for their distance work. So you want government to come and help us through that problem. Well, this and many other challenges is slowly leading to the collapse of this school and authorities need to swiftly respond to save the situation. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Adichie.